friends, three best friends, hanging out and doing stuff. Three best friends, three best friends, da 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 da, doing stuff, hanging out, doing stuff. Seriously, that's your theme song. Yeah, it's awesome. It took us years to What'd write it. Think? No cookies for you. Three o four. What you doing? Studying for my social exam that I'm gonna bomb. Here, let me take a look at this. Do you even know what you're looking at? Yeah, this is simple stuff. I remember it from high school. It's actually mostly common sense. You know, it's strange hearing the man in the onesie talk about common sense. <laughs> Give me my damn notes back. What if I took this exam for you? All right, like I'm gonna risk my degree on you Would it really be that hard to pull off? Not really. All you'd have to do would be to forge my name and student number on a bubble sheet. But why would I get you to take it when I could find someone who's actually in the class? Because you can't find anyone else more qualified on such short notice. That's true. Except I wasn't looking for anyone to take it for me in the first place. Which is my point. You should be. And wasn't I the one who helped you on that project on the detrimental influence of the baby boom culture on the family unit in an economic downturn? Yeah. But you pulled that one out of your ass. Yes, I did. You remember what your grade was? I don't know. A B minus? Damn right! Oh, come on. You think you'll do any better this time around? Fine. Let's do it. Seriously? What, you having second thoughts now? What? No, not at all. I just didn't expect you to cave that easily. Okay. Neither did I. Now look, this is all you need to know. Anywhere in particular I should sit? So wherever you want. Just don't draw any attention to yourself. No gently impressions before class starts. It's more of a tribute than an impression. Just done. Fine. So, what's making you want to do this all of a sudden? I already explained that. Yeah, but really. But really, it might make an impression on a certain someone. <laughs> I knew it. Who was it this time? Kate. Kate? Oh, you don't mean Holly's friend, Kate. Yeah. Dude, she wouldn't care if you won the Nobel Prize, man. She's into jocks. I know, but I kind of think she might be into me. And why would you think that? Well, it happened the other day. I overheard her talking to Holly in the kitchen. About what? About a guy she was interested in. A friend of Mal's. So no names were mentioned? Well, no, but Mal's only got two friends. Yeah, so it could be either one of us. But she said he was kind of strange. Oh. Well, then that's you. I know, right? Congratulations. <laughs> All right, now look, it is 3.17, so if you're gonna take this thing- I know, I got time to go upstairs and take a shower, put my game face on, listen to Eye of the Tiger a couple hey, times- Hey, Jack, Jack! It's a social exam, all right? Not a rematch with Apollo Creed. Who? Why are you still here? Ain't it the life? Three o four. Hi, Kate. Sorry, Holly's not here. Oh, I was in the neighborhood that I'd stop in and say hi. Well, how sweet of you. Mind if I play? Do you even know how? Of course. What's up, man? You ready to do or die? Yeah, I guess. Uh, what's, uh, what's going on? Oh, I just stopped in to say hi. I'm not bothering you guys, am I? No, no, not at all. Hell, you can stop by anytime. Anytime. Hey, uh, Tony, can I talk to you in the kitchen for a minute? Yeah, before. I'm still just a little fuzzy on what I'm supposed to do exactly. Oh, you're the worst. Listen! 
Man, it couldn't be any simpler. You get there, you sit there. I know what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm just wondering what the hell you're doing. We're playing Apocalypse. But what's she doing here? She just told you. Why is she still here? Because she wanted to play. What, I'm going to say no? You know what the bro code is, right? Of course I know. So we're cool then. Yeah. Fine, whatever. Not interested. Besides, she's like a borderline skank anyway. Dude! Whatever. Okay? She's just not my type. Okay. That's all I wanted to hear. Okay. Bro code. Pound it. It was great to see you again, Kate. Yeah, you too, Jeff. Yeah, I would stay and play, but I gotta go take care of something with the guys. Well, you know how they get when they're all... No big deal. But you, you know what I mean, right? Right. Make me proud, man. Will do. So, uh, how's he gonna make you proud? Oh, well, Jack's actually taking a test for me. Jack? He's not even a student, is he? No, he's not currently enrolled, but this is a subject where he has some expertise. What subject? Sociology. That's his area of expertise. Oh, yeah. One of many. He's a bright guy, Jack. In fact, in high school, he'd hire himself out to write book reports at 20 bucks a pop. Made a lot of money. He's a lot smarter than he looks. He'd almost have to be. Your turn. Aren't you a hotel restaurant major? Mm, H-R-I-N, baby. You know. Which is why you're the baker for Mal's little cookie business. Supposedly. So when's that going to be up and running? That's a good question. Mal seems to be dragging his feet for whatever reason. The reason is because he doesn't have a functional business plan. I offered to help him out, but... But what? It's like talking to a wall. Tell me about it. I even suggested a soft opening, you know, to test the model out. Wait, really? Because I said the exact same thing. And he wouldn't listen to you either. Of course not. What a horse's ass. For him, the Nosferatu Baking Company, it, it's just a lark. But for you, it, it could define your whole college experience. Yeah, exactly. You nailed it. So why wait around? Yeah. Hey, you, you got anything to drink? What? Yeah. Yeah, where are my manners? We've got a... We got Capri Sun and chocolate milk. Anything stronger? Oh. I have a bottle of single malt. Glen live it. I was gonna save it for a special occasion, but maybe that's what this is. Mm -hmm. Three oh four. Hey yo, Tony, where you at? What? Oh, hey, you're back already, huh? Well, yeah, man. Hell of a lot easier than I expected. It turns out you probably could have taken that thing yourself. No kidding. What are we talking here? Like another B minus? Well, at least I totally nailed it. Yeah, you did. Uh, uh, hey, what do you say we go to the bar and get a few beers to celebrate? All right. I think we start off with a couple of shots. Yeah. Yeah. You go in the kitchen and pour them, and I'll be right there. Okay? Yeah. Did you hear that? No. Uh, from upstairs, it sounds. No, like... I did not. It's not. Is there someone up there? No, it's probably the TV. Damn it, Tony! I told you to keep an eye on the time. Now I'm late for my class. Hi, Jack. Bye, Tony. Listen, man. I don't know what to say. It just sort of happened. Tell it to the bro code. Foreign film doesn't mean it has to be in a foreign language. Yes, it does. 
That is exactly what it means. Here we go with the semantics again, hey Tony. It's practically the same movie! <laughs> Except it's like ten times better. Look, for starters, it wasn't in Swedish. Swedish is a language of great beauty. It sounds like German being spoken by morphine addicts. Right, Tony? 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 What's the matter? Is Apocalypse not working again? Look, I screwed the pooch big time, guys. What are you talking about? Alright, well, Jack offered to take a social exam for me today, and I told him okay. Really? Why would you do that? <laughs> it's not one of my stronger subjects. Okay, so what happened? He, he got caught? No, no, he didn't get caught. Alright, look, the reason he wanted to take the test in the first place was so he could impress Kate. He likes Kate? Yeah. Or, like, loves her. Jack's impulsive like that. Anyway, she was over here today because she was in the neighborhood. And Jack walked in on us. Playing Apocalypse. And Jack thought you were putting the boobs on? Yeah! Him? Yeah, and anyway, he took me in the kitchen and started talking about the bro code. The bro code? It's a guy thing. It means hands Yeah, on. I get it. I told him. There was nothing to worry about. Okay, there is no attraction between me and Kate. But we had a few drinks. Do not tell me you slept with her! Oh, damn, Tony! When you said you screwed the pooch, I thought it was a figure of speech. Now, what? Why would she sleep with you? Are you saying that Tony's not good enough for her? Well, she used to have some standards. Oh, she's a lascivious strumpet with the standards of a gutter snipe. Hey! I'm sitting right here. They're both adults, it was consensual. As long as Jack doesn't find out, what's the big deal? How is he not gonna find out? You don't tell him, for starters. Jack already knows. What? How does he know? Kate was still here when he came home. He kinda figured it out. Well, where is he? Upstairs. Pouting, I guess. This is ridiculous. Jack! Jack, get down here, we gotta talk this out! No way, Mal! Mal, what are you doing? This is none of your business. This could affect their future working relationships in my business, which makes it my business. Well, Jack, come on, I'll hold him down and you can kick his face in. Dude, he's gonna think you're serious. Who says I'm not? Well, Jack, Jack, we can sort this out. Can we do this somewhere else? Around the same room as the infamous bro code violator. No one's going anywhere until this is resolved. I've got no choice. The bro code was initiated. Yeah, that's right, we shook on it. Hey, but we pounded. Actually. It still counts! And the bro code is a bond of trust. It's sacred! Okay, I understand all that, but maybe, just maybe, there's a loophole. Doubtful. Just give me ten minutes. 304! Of course, these are all rare occurrences, but since a 366 day calendar is in effect. Ah, six more days than usual. And it's the year of the dragon. An additional stipulation applies. A grace period, if you will. Also, since a previous carnal relationship did not exist between said strumpet and the accused codebreaker, the pact is null and void. But, but, However, but, since the third party took offense, he is allowed to pursue a relationship, cardinal or otherwise, with the girl in question. And the opposing party cannot interfere or even protest. So that means I still got dibs. Right. And this douche can't do a thing about it. What? Sounds good to me. Fine. All right then, well, shake hands or, or pound fists or whatever and let's put this unpleasantness behind us. Sorry, man. Take this bromance to the bar and drink our faces <laughs> off! Right here, buddy. Go. I gotta know. How was she? <laughs> I cried the whole time. That was kind of impressive. <clears throat> I had no idea you knew so much about the bro code. I don't know anything about it. I made all of that up. Really? 
I'm kind of turned on right now. Oh, I'll take that as a compliment. What are you putting on? The Magnum P.I. of scavenger fish dramas. Yeah, it's it's the Magnum P.I. of scavenger fish dramas. You so get me.